Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at CES 2015. I'm here at uh, Dell's booth speaking with Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly Hodges, um, here to introduce the Dell Venue 8 7000 series. Cool, and, and can you tell us what, I mean, there's tons of uh, tablets out on the market. Can you tell us uh, what's different about this one? What's different is number one, it's the world's thinnest tablet. Um, we launched it on Tuesday, and it is six millimeters in thinness. And what you're looking at is an edge-to-edge -edge infinity glass OLED display, which is 2560 by 1600. Cool, and so that's that, that's not only the thinnest uh, Android tablet, but it's also like it's even thinner than the the Mac. Yes. The uh, yes. it's thinner than the iPad Mini. The iPad Mini is 6.1, and we're at, we're at six millimeters. A couple other great features when you look at this tablet is when you look at the design is that even though it's thin, we wanted to make sure that we stuck to our Dell tenants, and those tenants allowed us to have that aluminum. So I'm not cautious when I throw it on the table that it'll bend or it'll move in any perspective. And then we are also the first um, tablet to launch the Intel RealSense snapshot camera. Cool, yeah, you were showing me that earlier. So what that sort of allows you to do is um, change or mess around with the depth uh, after in post, right? Exactly. It is actually the RealSense camera is made up of three different cameras. It's one 8 megapixel camera and then two 720p cameras. And those two 720p cameras is what's shooting at the angles that then provides the depth to the picture that you have. Can you give us a sort of a, a demo of you changing the depth so people can kind of see what it looks like? Sure, definitely, because when you look at that camera, you just didn't want to have hardware. What we wanted to have was the software that would leverage what you were mentioning about the depth. So we've created the Dell Gallery program, and when you look at the Dell Gallery program, it allows you to do things such as change the effect. If you notice here, I have an individual, that, and I'm going to move it to be black and white. Just by the movement of my finger, you can see where I'm changing which parts of the picture are black and white and which are not. Some other things that you can do within this as well has to do with the focus as you were mentioning before. So take a moment and notice that the gentleman is in focus, but then the, the bridge is not. So if I click on the focus, it's gonna reload the picture for me and just with the click of my finger, I can move the focal point of that picture. Um, so can you sort of talk about how the technology works? So you have three cameras, are they shooting at three different depths and then you're sort of adjusting on the fly and post and then sort of blending them? Is that how it works? That's exactly right. All three cameras are actually taking the picture at the same time. It's the angle at which those pictures are being shot and the megapixels. So it's the depth with the technology as well as the software that then allows you to bring that all together and do things like this within your photo editing. Cool. And, and uh, what is the resolution, the megapixel of, of the camera and, and whatnot? You said two 720s and... One 8 megapixels. So when your picture actually produces, it's an 8 megapixel picture with all of that depth within it. Can you do this to video as well or is it just pictures at the moment? Currently right now it's the RealSense snapshot, so it's just pictures. Gotcha. Cool. And uh, and two final questions, uh, you know, price and release date? So it's three ninety nine, dollars um, and it's available today. Uh, thank you, Kelly. And uh, for more on CES, check out MaximumPC.com.